you know, after Yusuf became like a like he grew up a little bit and he became a handsome ma man after he reached the puberty and so on. Subhanallah, this woman started looking at Yusuf as a very attractive man to her, and she wanted him for herself. She wanted to to have that private uh, private time with him. Subhanallah, and. Here it, where it comes like the nafs, you know, when we have like a desire or a lust in ourself and we want to do it, that's what the nafs does. The nafs is like a baby. It keeps nagging on us. Do it, do it, do it. And sometimes we, we, we try to be, get busy with things that we don't want to think about it. So we go like eat, we go do some exercising, we do and, and, and meet with some friends. But still in, in the back of our mind, still like do it, do it, you know, and, and, and tries to visualize it. You know, it starts it starts like to think about it even more and so on and have all these emotions. And, you know, if you do it, you're going to have these emotions. You're going to you're going to have all that joy. You're going to have all that, you know, and so on. So this is what the nafs does to us, you know, subhanallah. And so this woman has this lust she was lusting on yusuf and she wanted him so bad she wanted him no matter what subhanallah but yusuf alayhi salam allah gave him hikmah hikmah means uh, wisdom and he gave and it gave him also knowledge subhanallah because yusuf alayhi salam kept connected with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so the woman one time she came to Yusuf after like she dressed up and everything and she in whose house he was so to seduce him and she closed all the doors she was with him alone and so she closed all the doors and she said come you know let's do it right subhanallah and that's why it is forbidden in Islam to have a man and a woman alone in one place it is haram actually to mix men with women, you know, because this is what happened. It becomes like a little idea that sparks in our mind. This little idea, you know, and then a man can, I'm looking, I'm talking from both sides, whether man to a woman or woman to a man, you know, and then a man looks at a woman and then maybe in the first time he would just lower his gaze, but the woman is still in here in the same room, you know, so he's going to look at her again. So it becomes an idea. And then this idea starts growing in their mind. And then it becomes a curiosity. And this curiosity, it becomes even like, visu like visualizing. They start imagining how would that person would look, you know? And then that person who would look like this, you know, how am I going to be feeling if I'm closer to them? And things like this. And then after that, it goes further and further and f until it becomes like an action. This is what the nafs does to us. Subhanallah. And that's why in Islam, it's better to cut it off right away. Cut it off. If you see that there is some kind of desire in your heart or your nafs is begging you or nagging on you to do something, run away from it. Don't test yourself. Don't say, oh, I'm strong. I can just stand against it i can, i can fight it no you can't fight it allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put it in our heart this way no you cannot fight it except by the help of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you cannot fight it run away from it and that's what exactly joseph did this is what yusuf alayhi salam did and she said come he said uh, uh, come you you know you slave and at you know as a slave he has to obey no matter what and if he didn't obey, he will be punished or he will be killed or, you know, he said, I seek the refuge of Allah. Indeed, he is my master. You're not my master. Allah is not is my master. That's braveness. That's really brave. Sometimes even us, you know, at work, when uh, when my boss come and he wants to shake hand with me and he's a male. Right. And it happens all the time. And you say, well, it's just a shake hand. And sometimes we make all these excuses about us. Oh, it's not that haram. It's very formal. There is nothing sexual about it. And, you know, we do all that, all these things. Subhanallah, right? You know, and, uh, but it is haram. And we should actually avoid it. And we should stop that. We sh should stop and say, and say, I apologize for religious reasons. I cannot shake my hand with you. Subhanallah. 
And that's what Yusuf السلام, said. You're not my master. Allah is my master. And then he said, indeed, he is my master who has made good my residence. Immediately, he thought about all the good, uh, all the good na'am, all the good blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him. How can I disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after all this, all this na'am? Yusuf, you are a slave. Where are all these blessings that you're talking about? Subhanallah. But he could always look at it in a positive way. That's the nafs al mutma'inna. This is what we're talking about, the self, that it is very tranquil. Subhanallah. And he said that the wrongdoers will not be successful. And then she came very close to him. And she was almost to come and like, basically like rape him, subhanAllah. But that, what did he do? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put that block for Yusuf. It could be so easy for Yusuf to come and touch her. There's no one around. No one will see us, you know. Sometimes when we are by ourselves at home, you know, we think about doing things that we shouldn't do. We say, no one is over here. No one is around us. No one would see us. So we do some shameful things that we shouldn't do, subhanAllah. But then we have to think about it that Allah is watching us. Allah is watching us. And then what happened is Joseph ran away. And he was running towards the door. Like he was rushing to the door. And she was behind him. And she held his, his thawb, his, uh, his clothes, and she ripped it. She ripped his clothes just like that. She was that desperate. She was so desperate. And guess what? Yusuf opened the door and look who was at the door. 